Well, God bless you. God bless you, my fellow believers. God bless you all. Thank you all for coming back tonight. Amen. I praise God. Um, I praise God for each of you tonight. Praise God for what he's doing. Hallelujah. How many know that God is all powerful and all great and almighty? Hallelujah. I'm excited to see you all. Ken, God bless you. How are you doing on tonight? Amen. Hallelujah. I believe that there is a miracle. Hallelujah. That God is setting up to do uh, supernaturally. And somebody tonight that's just believing on God's word and God's promise for your life, you're about to come into my God uh, more than enough. And I, and I want to I wanna prophesy that, but I hope you're ready for that. Hallelujah, Nicole. God bless you, Nicole. Hallelujah, Jackson. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. See the hands of God over you, touching you tonight supernaturally. Hallelujah. Share this video tonight if you can. My God, let's get connected. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Father. We adore your name tonight, oh God, in Jesus' name. We love you, Father. We love you. 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 We love you, Jesus. We love you. We love you, Jesus. We praise you. We praise you. Hallelujah. Praise God tonight. Hallelujah, Smith. God bless you. God bless you, your church. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for joining. Thank you for connecting tonight. Hallelujah. I see miracles all over this place. Mr. Roberts, God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for joining tonight. Hallelujah. God is indeed a mighty God. Hallelujah. And I believe in the word of the Lord tonight. Amen. That everything that God has spoken to do, that miracles will begin to happen. My God, that doors will begin to open, that there will be a supernatural release. I want you to know that He is Lord. He is God tonight. He is God forevermore. He is God eternal. He is God great. He is God almighty. Powerful. My God. You know, he's Lord, and I tell you, my fellow believers, when our fate comes up before God, it moves mountain. Hallelujah, I'm going to say that again. When our fate comes up before God, it begins to shift us, my God, and begin to move the mountains out of our life and bring us into a great place. My God, Chanel Pack, hey, how you doing? God bless you. I haven't seen you for a while. Yeah, call for this internet to work in the name of Jesus. Elder Price, good to see you. Good to see you, my brother. Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah. I don't know how much of you are believing on God for a miracle. I don't know how many of you are believing on God to do something supernatural. But tonight, in the name of Jesus, I'm in agreement with you, my God, that mountains will come down. Strongholds, my that strongholds will be broken, my God, every weapon of the enemy, hallelujah, Tiffany, God bless you, God bless you, good to see you, hallelujah, 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 God is good, God is good, hallelujah, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, Michelle, God bless you, Michelle, God bless you, Levanda, my God, God bless you tonight. God bless you tonight. Every, every warfare, my God, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Every bitterness that you had to go through, that you had to deal with. God is healing you of that tonight in Jesus' name. My God. Parson, God bless you. God bless you. Mando Shayaya. My God. I see. My God is just a, a sweet, my God. A flower before God. And I'm telling you, the Spirit of the Lord is giving you a, a, a great spirit in this time and in this season. Felicia Wills, uh, Williams, God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Michelle, God bless you. God bless you. Kimberly, 
Hallelujah. I'm, I'm expecting God to, to open doors. And I know that many of you tonight, my God, who have been dealing with warfare in your life. Yeah, Lord God, I feel the anointing of the Holy Spirit right now. I'm, 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 I'm here tonight to speak the word of God against every spiritual warfare. My God, every spiritual warfare because God will shift, my God, our life into a meaningful place. And the only reason why you're being attacked because God is getting ready to elevate you. God is getting ready to lift you up, my God. And I want to encourage five persons tonight in Jesus' name to keep the course, my God, and to look unto the Lord in Jesus' name. Because as you keep the course and you keep your eyes focused on God, hallelujah, he's going to do what you need him to do. Mind you, yes, Lord, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. You know, one thing what the word of God says, he says, you know, Submit yourself to God and resist the devil. And the Bible says he will flee from you. That's in the book of James chapter 4 verse 7. And there was something about submitting to God. There was something about saying, Lord, I'm going to allow your presence to be in my life. I'm going to allow your presence, Lord, to be in my walk, to be in my talk, my God. I'm going to allow you, Father, to have your way. And this is the point of submission my God so the Bible says in the book of James chapter 4 verse 7 it says when you submit to God hallelujah, and you begin to resist the devil and many of us are being attacked and, and the only reason why the attack is staying around is because hallelujah my God when you resist the devil the attack is going to flee the, the, the attack is going to lose its grip my God, it won't own you, it won't control you. And so you're just going to want to resist the devil, amen? And the Bible said when you resist the devil, the devil is going to flee from you. And I see some, I see some people that have been having like a sleepless night. They've been going through, my God, hallelujah, just getting up late at night around uh, four, around three, and you've just been struggling with that. My mother, uh, Carly Rhodes, okay, my, my son, amen, hallelujah, let me go back and read that right there, uh, for my mother, Carly Rhodes, my son, uh, okay, with us. amen, praise God, praise God for that, praise God for that, amen, thank God for that, hallelujah, God is just really, my God, setting up our life, Hallelujah, he's setting us up, my God, to do a new thing for us tonight. And, and, and here's the warfare. The enemy always wants you to, to believe that the word of God is not working for you. But I rebuke that lie from the pits of hell tonight. Because the enemy wants to set doubt, my God, and put discouragement in your way and in your path. But I rebuke that. Hallelujah. You know, the Bible says you are from God. Hallelujah. The little children, glory to God. And you have overcome, my God, and have overcome them. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And we find that in 1 John chapter 4, verse 4. The Bible let us know that we are the little children of God. We belong to God. Hallelujah. Can somebody confess and say, I am, I belong to God. My God, I belong to God. I am, uh, uh, you know, my life is in his hands. God began to share this word now. Hallelujah. My God, he says, greater is it he that is in you than he that is in the world. God bless you, Tammy. Good to see you. And I want you to know tonight that it's not going to be in your might. It's not going to be in your power. My God. But it's going to be by the spirit of the Lord, says the Lord. Lord, I love you, Father. Hallelujah. I rebuke every every mountain, my God. Somebody feeling weary, my God, just so weary. And you don't understand why you feel so weary, my God. 
but I want, I want you to know tonight that when you begin to pray and pray to God more, it's going to take away that weariness. Yes, it's going to take away that weariness. Hallelujah. So I want to speak uh, over you, my God. I want to loose the word of the Lord over you tonight in Jesus' name. And I want to decree for you tonight, my God, that strength is coming. Strength be upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. And as God bless you, God bless you. Hallelujah, glory to God. I'm telling you tonight, I see attacks. I see like, like demonic attacks. There's some persons you're watching me tonight and you feel like you've just been going through um, a, a attack over and over again. But tonight, in the mighty name of Jesus, I'm, I'm speaking the healing of God. I'm speaking the deliverance of God. I'm speaking the move of God. God, I rebuke the enemy tonight. My God, in Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. God bless you. Oh, my God. Joanne, God bless you. Hallelujah. There is a supernatural release of God's manifestation and favor, my God, my fellow believers in this hour. And God is saying, listen, I'm pulling you up from where you're at, my God, and I'm going to bring you into a place, my God, hallelujah, of more than enough. I want to prophesy that. I heard that on the ghost. God says, I want to move you into a place of more than enough. And I tell you tonight that some of you, my God, you feel like you're not close to this breakthrough, but I'm prophesying to you, my God, my God, uh, uh, Tasha, God bless you. Uh, I'm prophesying to you tonight that God will begin to move your life into more than enough. God said, help my God for someone tonight in the name of Jesus. Tonight we are going to begin to see the power of of God's manifestation and God's spirit, Mondo Shire. Hallelujah, to begin to flow in our life, my God, in our hearts like never before, Mondo Shire. The Bible says that the Lord is a strong tower. Yes, yes, and the righteous run in, my God, and they are saved tonight. And we're going to begin to see the strength of God. Hallelujah, glory to God. We're going to begin to see the move of God upon our life. He said, Prophet, it's just impossible. Every time I hear you speak the word of God, you're always telling me about the move of God. Yes, my fellow believers, because the devil want to cripple your faith. And he want to cripple, my God, your trust in the word of God. But as you begin to hang on to the word of God, there's going to be a release. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. The Bible said, for though we live in this world, we do not, my God, wage war as this world do. So though we, though we live here in this world, we, we, don't, we don't wage war like the world does. And, and some of us don't understand that the devil want you to begin to operate like this world. And God is saying, not because we live here, it means that we ought to fight the battles the way that the world fight it. And my fellow believers, we got to understand, because the Bible begins to say that, my God Almighty, the weapon we fight with are not carnal, my God, of this world. And, and the Bible says, my God, it is it is strong, you know, to the pulling down of, of, of strongholds. It is, it is, it is powerful. It, 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 it has divine power to demolish strongholds, my God, to demolish, uh, uh, my God, uh, what to say, argument, my God. Uh, it, it has the power, my God, to, to destroy things on your job and persons that literally is fighting you my God, and has a, a, a weapon against your back and speaking behind your back. The word of the Almighty God, my fellow believers, my God that you have in your life, it can pull down every one of these um, a devilish attacks that have been coming against you. Natisha, Natisha God bless you. And I, and I tell you, Moni, God bless you. I tell you, God will begin to manifest the grace of his favor upon your life and upon the life of your children. But you got to realize what God wants from us is this. It says that be of self-control, my God, and be alert, all right? Your enemy, the devil, he prowl around like a roaring lion, seeking, my God, someone to devour. That's why he said resist him, my God. Stand firm in the faith, 
That's it. Resist the devil. Stand firm in the faith. They talk about that in 1 Peter chapter 5 and 8 and 9. My God, 8 through 9. And I'm telling you this, what, what? The enemy, God says, be of self-control and be alert. And my fellow believers, where God wants to take you in this season, God bless you, Charlotte. Uh, where, 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 where God wants to take you in this season of your life, you got to be of self-control. Because what the enemy wants to do, he wants to move you out of the, the place of your blessing, the place of the open door. God says to be alert. In other words, you got to be alert to the wiles of the devil. You got to be alert to how Satan is operating. You understand how the devil is, is influencing, my God, his cause, my God, against you and against your life and against your children, against your marriage, my God, against your finances, against your body, against your health, my God, you got to realize, my fellow believers, glory to God, hallelujah, hallelujah, you got to believe, hallelujah, glory to God in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, you got to believe the word of God. You got to believe what God is speaking. You got to believe what God is saying. You got to believe what God is commanding. My God to us. Yes, yes. So that we can walk, my God, in purpose, in grace. My God, in the will of Jesus Christ. And I tell you, my fellow believers, the gates of hell shall not prevail. And I need some persons tonight that say, Prophet, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm on fire. And I refuse to let the devil put me out. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That's what I'm talking about. I am on fire and I refuse to let the devil put me out. And I tell you, my fellow believers, we're going to begin to see my God through our faith. Ah, my God. And, and, and Tammy, I'm telling you that you're going to see it through your faith. My God, how God will just begin to just move. My God, and just move things out of the way and i tell you you know what it is my fellow believers it's uh it's it's perseverance is you having the ability my god to persevere my god to endure you know you're not always going to feel like you have the spirit of god you're not always going to feel like you know you, you, you feel that 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 great anointing on you you're not always going to feel like that but guess what you got to know the word and you got to know what God is saying and what God is speaking. And when you understand what God is saying and what God is speaking, then you can be of self-control and you can be alert, you know, to the wiles of the devil, my God. And that's why the devil wants to keep some of you back. But I'm telling you, my fellow believers, my God, more is coming, greater is coming for you in this season. My God, I hear the Lord telling me to tell some folks tonight, there's some people that's watching me, you've been um, um, uh, um, acquiring of the Lord. My God, Lord, what must I do? My God, should I pursue, should I not pursue? Some of you are going to begin to move into a prophetic season. My God, where you're going to be pursuing. And as you pursue, you're going to find the favor of the Almighty God. Some of you say, well, you know, prophet, I, 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 sometime I feel like I could do it and another time I don't. God is leading you in this season to begin to have faith and trust in the pursuit. And as you're pursuing, my God, God is going to begin to do what you need him to do uh, in your life. Someone, my God, hallelujah, either you just gotten out the shower somewhere, my God, around that place. And God is speaking to you tonight. God wants to release his hands of grace upon you tonight. Yes, I saw glory to God in Jesus' name. God is speaking to you tonight, my God, to release the power of his spirit over your life. My God, this is your moment of God's manifestation and breakthrough. Great blessings, my God, is going to come to your life. So he said, be alert, my God, for the devil is he's, he's going around like that. My God, he's, he's, he's prowling around. He's studying you. He's trying to figure out your weakness. He's trying to figure out things that you can't handle. My God. And he's trying to hold you captive, my God, to things that you have problems with. My God. And he wants to make those things a, a stronghold in your life. But tonight, if you begin to rely on the word of God, everything that you think is a stronghold, you'll find out that God has given you his word to overcome it. 
my God, and I rebuke those demonic spirits from your life, and I rebuke those hindrance from your heart. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak to you as a prophet of God tonight, in the name of Jesus, and I command a loosen for somebody tonight in Jesus Christ's name. My God, you know what I love with the word of God? It says that the battle is not yours, but it is the Lord's. And I'm telling you this right now, my fellow believers, my God, whose battle is this? My God, whose battle it is? You know, somebody was talking about something and, you know, most of us kind of fail to realize that, you know, some of us, we go through situations where we're blaming everybody. You know, we're blaming our cousin, we're blaming our father. We're, 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 we're blaming our spouse. We're, you know, we, we find blame to blame uh, our individuals about why we are going through what we are going through. Some of the stuff that we are going through is because of our sin. And because of our sin, it's producing uh, uh, um, a result, uh, dead results in our life where we are not getting um, um, hopeful results, but uh, uh, things are being dis deteriorated, destroyed around us because of our sin issue. And tonight, if you can confess all your sins before God, tonight, if you can just say, you know what, Lord, forgive me. You know, I'm telling you that because sometimes, we, we, you know, we, we talk about, you know, why bad things happen to us and stuff like that. I understand the Bible lets us know that there's sometimes God is bringing us through the process like he bring um, Job through the process. And he tests our faith. And there are other times when, you know, we just got sin issues in our life. And as a result of having those sin issues in our life, it's producing death. It's blocking us, it's stopping us, and it's hindering us. And if we can begin to just confess those sins and begin to let them go from our life, God is going to give us peace. You know, a lot of people always say, well, prophet, I want you to pray for me and pray that God will deliver me. God cannot deliver you if there is a sin issue in your life. And you say, prophet, what is a sin issue? Could you give me... Could you give me a, 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 a proper a, a definition uh, for that sin issue? And certainly, I'll give you a proper definition. There, there, there are two type of uh, a, a practice of sin issues. The, the Bible says, you know, one of the first sin issues is this, is where a person practice sin or they practice sinning, like they practice doing that sin over and over and over and over and over and over again and that sin practice becomes a part of their life and so because that person practiced that now it's like everything they try to do it produced death it, it just don't work and then you know person will start to blame you know um persons on their job or mama or fa or, or dad or i was born into this situation and everything else get blamed because of the practice of that sin that's in um, your life. Now notice that the Bible says that when Eve was in the garden, she had to put blame to the, to the, to the practice of her sin. And um, she had to find someone to blame for it, or Adam had to find someone to blame for it when God approached him. And, and so what sin does in our life, it let us put the blame on everything else. And it never allow us to see that we are at fault to why so many things are happening and we are not walking in the open door that God has for us. So until we begin to realize and recognize this, we will miss the opportunities of blessings that God has for us. Uh, give a story. There was a man and this particular man, um, he was in a good job. He owned his own house. He had his own car. And things was really happening for, for this man. He didn't know Jesus Christ, but he always, you know, even though he was making good money and he lives in a nice house and a nice neighborhood and he had the transportation he wants, he has everything he wants, he will always get in trouble. And so this one particular day, this man got himself in trouble uh, with, with the law. And so he got arrested for resisting arrest and so um, they, they handcuffed him and locked him up and they threw him behind bars and while he's sitting there of course he felt ashamed um, everything he had now because now they're giving him a four year sentence for fighting the cops and resisting the devil I mean uh, fighting the cops and resisting arrest and, um, and so he's behind bars and he's in this prison cell and it allows him to think 
about everything that he is doing um, with his life. And so when he got there now, he kind of sat down and, and he's trying to figure out, you know, why he keep doing what he's doing, you know, because he says, hey, I keep getting in trouble and so on and so forth. And he said he just heard the Lord just spoke to him, my God. And, and the Lord just says to him, because of your sin. And when he heard that, the next thing he says is this, that, you know, he, he began to just uh, 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 pray to God and ask God for a Bible. And, you know, and, and, and he began to confess his sin. And he began to confess his sin for about a week, just confessing his sins, confessing his sins, confessing his sin. Uh, when he got done confessing and confessing and, and receiving uh, the, the word of God over his life, you know, then once he had gotten out of jail, you know, that was it. His life turned around. He became a Christian, you know, and, and he never walked back in that path. And so, you know, to when, when we have like sin in our life, we got to turn from it. We got to completely turn from it. God bless you. Minister, uh, Minister Allen, um, we got to, we, uh, Minister Clark, amen. We got to turn from it. And as we begin to turn from it, my fellow believers, glory to God, supernaturally, God will begin to do what we need him to do. So if we don't turn from our sin, then we'll be controlled by the enemy. And our life will always be in a place where it's producing dead things. And, and, and bad things are always happening. Whether you're always losing your job, you're always getting in a fight with somebody, you know, and you're finding yourself just blaming others, you know, for, for you know, like you're the one that's doing it. So that's why I'm, I'm this way. No, begin to confess your sins. Begin to let go of those sins after you confess them. Turn from them. So that is the practice of sin and that will produce death in our life and not cause the blessing and, and all the words of good prophecies and all the stuff that's spoken over you. Um, even if it's spoken over you and you don't turn from that sin, God's word cannot manifest the, the, in the area, my God, that you need it to manifest. I need five more people to share this video tonight. Glory to God, this live video tonight, because I really believe, my God, that God wants to do something uh, a supernatural, my God. But um, yeah, turn from it, leave it alone. And, um, and so... Also, you know, we have, we have a secondary sin, which is we are Christian, we love God, but we don't practice sinning. You understand? A, a sinner is somebody that practices sin. I'm going to say it again. A sinner is someone that practices sin. So when you're a believer of God, and some of you may feel like, oh Lord, you know why this is happening to me. No, sometimes you're going through the process because the Bible says that we, we all sin. But sometimes we don't know that we have sin. So that's why every day we are we stay in a consecrated mode, you know, and we ask in God's forgiveness. But it doesn't mean you're practicing sin. We 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 end up sinning and not knowing that we have sinned. And so we you know we must repent automatically. You know, uh, so in that in that state, God understand. You know, so it's a complete different thing than when you practice it and, and when you just kind of just, you know, stumble and, 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 and fall in that moment and then you get back up and then you dust yourself off. So God wants to uh, bring us into and usher us into his time of favor and release. God wants to give you the prophetic release of his word. He wants to enable your life. He wants to change you my God, and he wants to show you his glory. But in this season, my God, for seven or eight of you, you got to be radical and you got to get to a place where you just stop being nervous and be confident in God's word. And I believe that as you begin to do that, God is going to begin to work things out in your life and he's going to move mountains. So these are the warfare that, you know, that you go through. You know, that's why the Bible begins to say now that we ought to put on the full armor of God so that you can take stand against the devil. So what happened, you know, prophet, how do I get this, this armor on? He says, so you can stand against the scheme of the devil. But the, the, Satan is always scheming up stuff. Have y'all ever dealt with people that's always a work in some scheme? They're just very schemy, like they always have a plot. That comes from the devil. That comes from Satan. And, and God says, okay, when we put on the armor of God, we can take on that armor. We can stand 
against the scheme of the devil. Because what we don't understand is that the enemy is always trying to figure out a way to scheme you out of your blessing. Yeah, the enemy is always trying to find a way to scheme you out of your blessing, to take you out of your blessing. And so you've got to put on the armor of God. What is the armor of God? The word of God. All right. Hallelujah. The Bible says glory to God. And, and, and it says um, what it says for the Bible says, excuse me, never for our our struggle is not against flesh and blood. And, you know, people always think that our fight is against flesh and blood. You know, not because somebody do you something, it means that that's where your battle is. Not because somebody do you uh, a bad on your job, it means that's where your battle is. My fellow believers know it's not against the flesh and blood of that person, but it's the evil spirit that's scheming and is trying to get to your weak spot. And if the enemy can always use somebody to get to you and to get onto your skin, guess what? The devil is going to continue to use people as an influence against you because he knows that this is how he gets you down. This is how he gets you weary. Ty, God bless you. This is how he gets you tired. You understand? This is how he gets you to move out of God's will. So the devil schemes and he uses persons and we start to think that, you know, I'm going to cuss them out. I'm going to tell them this, I'm telling them that. God wants you to begin to go into war against the enemy. You understand? Rebuke that demon, my God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And I want, to, I want you all to know something too. You can love somebody and forgive them. There's some people that you just need to just not talk to. Don't even have a conversation with them. But you love them, you forgive them. Because if you're open to those people, the devil is always working scheme in them against you. You know, there are persons on your job that will try to get you fired. You understand? Because the devil is working up schemes, you know, in that co-worker, in that boss, and they're plotting against you. Don't say nothing. You understand? Just, just be still. My God, when they see you, they see you praying. My God, when they hear you, they hear you humming the word of God and they're singing. My God, but you're not in no conversation. We're not going to sit around a table and I'm not going to be talking to you. I'm going to love you from far. I forgive you now. But I'm not going to I'm not going to open a conversation to you, my God, and have you to disrespect me. You understand? And say whatever you want to say that comes to your mouth against me. I rebuke that devil. So you got to watch out for the scheme of the devil because when they when they deal with you a certain way, it makes you want to pop off. So, you know, the Bible says, you know what? Uh, um, um, you know, by being silent, you know what you're doing? You're heaping coals of fire on the head of the devil. That's right. You're heaping coals of fire on the head of the devil. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Don't let the enemy uh, cause you to lose your blessing. And then you have to cry all over. You have to weep all over. You have to start all over. My God, to get back to that place of God's blessing for your life. My God, just say, you know what, Lord? Give me wisdom to deal with this situation. Don't even look at them. My God, in Jesus Christ's name. My God, hallelujah, because when you look at some people, my God, that, that, that you, you, you really want to tell them a piece of your mind. And you know what? You just put yourself in a position where you don't sin. Put yourself in a position, my God, where you see the schemes of the devil and you just begin to just move yourself out the way so that God, hallelujah, can, can, can fight the battle so that God can be before you my God, before you to, to deliver you and to bring you out of everything, my God, that the devil is scheming up against your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So he said, put on the armor of God. That's why we have to, as believers of God, we have to make sure every day, you understand, we got the word of God. You understand, we, are, we, we apply the word of God. God, cover me, cover me, cover me, cover me, cover me, cover, cover my mind, cover my heart. You know, that I would not lose my way, my God, that, that, I, that my tongue will not say something that it shouldn't say. And, and this is what I'm talking about, my fellow believers, as God is enabling his vision, his plan, and his purpose for our life. I feel the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Glory to God. And the Bible, of course, says, you know, of course, we rest not against flesh and blood. Hallelujah. But the Bible says against the rulers, my God, and the authorities, my God, and against the powers of darkness, my God, of this world. 
my God, the spiritual forces, evil sports in, in, in heavenly realms. Those are the things that we wrestle against, my fellow believers. Glory to God. The demonic force, the ruling forces of this world that is that is that is set out to literally destroy your hope, to destroy your peace, to destroy your assignment and the purpose that God has truly laid in store for you. So God have already let us know the word of God, therefore put on the whole armor of God so that when the devil come, uh, you may be able to stand your ground, stand your ground. Hallelujah, this is a spiritual thing. My fellow believers, you know, a lot of people say, hey, prophet, why don't you just hold a globe in your hand and, 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 and be a palm reader and tell me everything that I want to hear? No, what I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not a palm reader and I don't hold a globe in my hand. I want to tell you what the word of the Lord says. And God says that there are warfares, there are demonic forces that's coming against your life. And if you don't have the word of God, and if you're not rooted enough, it will, it will knock you to the ground. It will take you out. You hear me? As much as you say, Lord, Lord, and pray, pray, my God, if you don't have that word rooted, if you're not rooted and grounded right, that storm will come and it will uproot you. It will take you away from the things of God. And I don't know, the Lord is telling me to really encourage somebody tonight because you felt like you were just going to quit this whole Christian thing. You're just going to walk away. You're just done with it. You're tired. And, and it's almost like you're blaming God. You know, God, his word is all love. His word is all about keeping you alive. His word is all about building you up, my God, and 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 sowing in you. And the devil now wants to kill you. He wants you to end up behind bar. He wants you to struck out on drugs. He wants you to drink yourself to sleep. You understand? He wants you to smoke. You know, he wants you to do all the things that you should not do. He wants you to be promiscuous. He wants you to do things, my God, that is that is detrimental and, and uh, to your life. And then now you feel like um, um, you want to quit on God. Like, like, how do you quit on God for, for, the, for worse when it is God that's trying to give us better? And all his word does is, is let us know how he loves us and how he cares for us. And some of you say, well, prophet, I, I can't do this. I can't do this because, you know, the bad things keep on happening. And, and, and nothing is happening, so I might as well just do what I'm, what I, what I'm familiar with. You know, you're like, well, you know, I, I maybe, maybe I should just call back that sugar daddy in my life. Maybe I should just, you know, I, I, I just can't do this Christian thing. And, and somebody is saying that. I don't know who you be, but somebody tonight, you're just at that crossroad. But I'm telling you that you have to be grounded in the word of God. Hallelujah. You have to understand that you're on a journey to receive a blessing. You know what story I like in the Bible? Ruth and Esther. And 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 Esther, she could have she could have just um uh, glory to God. Ruth and Naomi. Um um uh, uh, Ruth could have just stopped following Naomi. She could have quit. You know, she didn't know that there was a blessing if she if she stayed and she stayed the course, hallelujah. She didn't know that there would be a blessing, but you know, it was tough. And then she had to go through people not liking her. She had to go through not having nothing and starting all over again. And she had to go through that process. Why? Because God was setting up a millionaire in the future. Yet all these people that was working for the richest guy, the richest man in Israel at the time, all these people that's working in his field, all right, he is the richest one, he's established, well established, and that man was not married. And you see what God does? God will set up your blessing. He will make sure it don't be touched. It don't matter how many years. He will have your blessing sitting in this corner, and he will just wait, 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 and nobody touch that blessing until the appointed time when you arrive, that blessing meets you right there at your spot. And that's what the devil is trying to do. He's trying to shift you from your blessing. He's trying to shift you from staying focused on God's word. So don't be discouraged tonight. Stay focused. Gird yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus, my God. And you know, for the word of the Lord says, after you're done, you make sure you stand on God's word. Yes, put on that breastplate of righteousness. Have that shield of faith. Put on that helmet of salvation. 
Let your shoes be be sharp, my God. Tighten with the with the with the word, with the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, my fellow believers, you have to know the truth. You are God's people, but you are under spiritual attack. You're under warfare. You're dealing with things right now that is satanic, satanically influenced to stop you from receiving God's blessing for your life. But I tell you, if you stay focused on Christ and you stay focused on the word of the Almighty God, you're going to see and you're going to reap. If you faint not, you're going to move into your assignment, into your assignment, into your purpose into that which God has called you to do in the name of Jesus. In all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loves us. We read that by fellow believers in Romans chapter 8, verse 37. In all these things, what things? In all the things that you go through, in all the things that you struggle with, in all the fighting that you have to fight and endure, God says in all these things, you are more than a conqueror. I want you to know that. Mathis, you're more than a conqueror. Angela, you're more than a conqueror. My God, in Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. Mando Shaya. Brittany, you're more than a conqueror. Tammy, you're more than a conqueror. My God, in Jesus Christ's name. Somebody just need to say, Lord, wake me up. Parson, you're more than a conqueror. Somebody just say, Lord, just wake me up. Wake me up from my slumbering place. He says, awake, awake, and trim your lamb. My God, Monique, you're more than a conqueror. And I'm telling you right now, my God, the sword of God is risen. It is risen, my God, against the enemy, my God, to destroy every stronghold and every place of defeat. My God, it has been a, a place of defeat in your life. The sword of God is risen against it right now to deliver you, to bring you out, and to set you free, my God. Hallelujah, from being Lord, my God, hallelujah, into captivity any longer. The word of God is right now piercing my God, against the plots of the enemy that have been coming up against your life. My God, your marriage, your children, your family, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. You know, he says, but I thank, thanks be to God who have given us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. And that's it, my fellow believers. My God, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57. My God, hallelujah. Thanks be to God who gave us the victory through Jesus Christ. Where we have our victory, we have our victory through Jesus Christ. That's why I say Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord, my God. And his lordship and his rulership is over your life right now. So I want you to do, my God, I heard the Lord says, though you have cried, and many of you tonight, you have cried your tear. And you have been so tearful, my God, but the Spirit of the Lord is healing you tonight, my God. Hallelujah. God is going to dry up those tears that you've been crying, my God, and he's going to grant you the victory, my God. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good, that his mercy endures forever. I need some people tonight that said, Prophet, I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to stop praying for my son. I'm not going to stop praying for my children. I'm not going to stop believing God's word for my life. And I'm telling you, my fellow believers, you want God's word to be over you, my God, because God is making you tonight more than a conqueror. My God, for you are a conqueror through Christ Jesus. The Bible says it's not by might, nor is it by power but it's by my spirit glory to god hallelujah hallelujah say the lord of hosts my fellow believers zachariah chapter 4 my god verse 6 it is not by might neither is it by power it is by his spirit and tonight the spirit of god is bringing you out tonight the spirit of god is revealing to you my god hallelujah Hallelujah, glory to God, somebody tonight. God is releasing his word in spite of how you feel in Jesus Christ's name. 
You know, God already said it in his word that it will not return void. There is nothing that God say that will return void. If we just obey God's word and God's plan for our life, things are going to begin to happen. God bless you, my God, Sister Winsome. And I'm telling you, my fellow believers, glory to God, our flesh must be crucified. We have to crucify our flesh. We have to submit our flesh to God. Amen. We have to we have to make it a base so that God can be glorified. There are too much flesh. There are too much uh, 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 fleshly activity. Too much things to do with the flesh. And we can't see the glory of God if the flesh is in the way. We can't hear the voice of God if the flesh is in the way. You have to understand that God's word is God's word for your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. But the Lord is faithful and he will strengthen you, my God, and protect you, my God, from the evil one. My God, my fellow believers, second, hallelujah, Thessalonians, my God, hallelujah, chapter 3, verse 3. I said, God's word is what? Faithful. God is what? Faithful. And God will protect you, my God, from the evil one. And my fellow believers, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Believe it tonight. Believe it tonight. That God will protect your life from the devil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ tonight. And there's somebody you're watching me. You've been praying to God for a transportation. And I see this in the spirit, my God. I prophesy it. I command the release of it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I loose the word of God in the name of Jesus. Somebody tonight, either you're in Chicago or some connection with Chicago. And I pray, my God, for that person. Something that's, you know, some pertaining to Chicago situation. But I pray for that person tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I loose the word of God to manifest in Jesus Christ's name. My fellow believers, glory to God, don't be dismayed. I just want to encourage you. I just want to give you a true word of encouragement tonight. Don't be dismayed. Don't be discouraged. My God, stand on God's word. Johnny, God bless you. Uh, stand on God's word. Don't let the devil, uh, 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 my God, don't let the devil intimidate you out of your blessing. And Satan is like a bully. My God, and he comes, my God, like Goliath. God bless you, Ben. Uh, 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 he, he, he comes like Goliath. My God, and he, he chant, he send those enchantment and he send those deers at you. And he says, I dare you. And he just, he just, he just put fear on you. I rebuke that spirit of fear off of you tonight. Hallelujah. I decree it. I rebuke that fear from off of your life tonight in the name of Jesus. Fear, I command you to go. In Jesus' name, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I rebuke that fear from off of your life. God break every yoke, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, Cynthia, God bless you. I'm telling you, my fellow believers, if, if you release, if you let go of fear tonight, God is going to do what he needs to do in your life. I know you're struggling. Some of you say, well, prophet, I'm having a tough time paying my bills. Prophet, I'm looking for a place to live. A prophet, I sleep in my car. A prophet, I really don't have it. Things are just bad for me. Huh? As long as there is life, as long as there is life, there is hope. And if you put your hope in God, God is going to do it for you. God will make a way for you, my God. And I tell you that the devil is not going to steal your blessing. My God, he's not going to steal your children. I rebuke fear. There's somebody, you're, you're constantly under threat. You're in a relationship. The Lord show me tonight and where you're constantly under threat, just going through threat, 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 threat. But I rebuke it in Jesus Christ, name the blood of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Ghost tonight. My God in Jesus Christ, name. Ah, the Spirit of the Lord is moving for you tonight in Jesus Christ's name. My God, I told you right now, right now, right now, right now, right now.
Uh, everything you need right now, my God. I'm talking about, I command spiritual empowerment over you tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, glory to God. My God, hallelujah, my God, hallelujah. For I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace in this world. Uh, you will have trouble, but take my God heart. I have come, overcome this world so you will overcome this world. Jesus says, my God, in his word for us, my fellow believers, glory to God. I'm telling you right now, my fellow believers, my God. Yes, yes, he says in this world you will have trouble, but guess what? I have overcome this world. Take, take heart, take heart, take courage, take courage. Let me encourage you tonight. If nobody want to encourage you, let me encourage you tonight. If you can't encourage yourself, let me encourage you in the word of the Lord tonight. Take heart, take courage. My God, if I could get you to the place of righteousness, my God. Mm. If I could get your faith level up to the place of righteousness. Are you hearing what I'm telling you tonight? If I can get your faith level up to the place of righteousness tonight, my God. You are going to be a very powerful individual, my God. You will climb into, my God, the third heavens, my God, of great divine revelation of God's manifestation. For John says, I saw, I looked and I saw a, a heaven in the heaven. I looked, my God, I saw the heavens of heaven and it can't contain his glory. And God says, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you great things in heaven. I'm going to show you great and mighty things in heaven. I'm going to show it to you but because I want to release my hands. I want to release favor in your life. I want to bless you. Others may not want to bless you. Others may not love you. My God. Others may not care for you. My God. You may can't get love from people. But I'm telling you right now, you can get the love from God. You can get the love from his word tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And that's why I'm telling you, my fellow believers, glory to God. You got to say, Lord, just put me on fire. Catch me on fire. My God, reveal to me, my God, so that I will not be lost. My God, would you just get from the place where you're not looking for a soothsayer? You're not just looking for somebody, my God, just to give your word of prophecy. But can you get to a righteous place tonight that say, Lord, take me in your presence? Ah, can you say, Lord, take me in your presence, my God. And I'm telling you, my fellow believers, glory to God. I, 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 tonight, if I could just minister to five people that wants to just get into his righteousness. You just care about getting into God in this moment. If I can just minister to five of you tonight. I'm, oh, Hallelujah. Glory to, glory to God. 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 I'm commanding the blessings of God. I'm telling you, I see the favor of God activating, manifesting because it's already done, but our faith have to activate it. Our faith have to activate what we pray for. Our faith has to activate what we have prayed for my God of grace in Jesus name hallelujah our faith has to activate what we have prayed for for he says when you pray believe what does that mean your faith has to activate what you have prayed for my fellow believers go in war like you know what Lord I want you I desire you I need you forgive me of my sin I will practice sin I give everything to you right now because I desire you in my life in Jesus Christ's name I saw like in the spirit the devil trying to set ambushment my god but his ambushment is 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 discovered god is revealing to you where the devil is working and where the where satan is lurking my god to stop your blessing my god god is working he's revealing where the devil is working against your life tonight and if you take heed to the word of god you're going to be delivered. You're going to be set free, my God. You're going to come up higher. You're going to come up, my God, from your broken place. You're going to come up from your lost place. You're going to come up, for your, come up from your forgotten place. And you're going to come and you're going to step into 
the grace of his power and the grace of his blessing my god my god my god in jesus name in the name of jesus glory to god by the power of the holy ghost the power of the holy ghost the power of the holy ghost is moving tonight in the name of jesus i saw a name mimi mimi something like that i saw i thought i saw a name like that my god i don't know what church you go in the name of jesus christ my god but you're you're, you're going through a a time of decision right now and God wants to order your steps my God and and release my God is his hands over your life and God wants you to obey his word for your life I know I saw that name I try to bring it back to pronounce it right but I couldn't do that but for, for that person right there in Jesus name you grab a hold to the word of God tonight. Watch what the power of God is going to do. The manifestation of his grace, the working of his spirit. My God, the spirit of the Lord is, is I'm, I'm telling you, I, I'm telling you. Oh, Rabbi Shandiki Isua. Yes, Lord. Glory, 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 glory. I heard the Lord says, for they that believe on me, says the Lord, will live. They that believe on me and would trust me, says the Lord, will live. God says, if you believe on his word and if you trust him, you shall live in Jesus Christ's name. You shall live. Glory to God. I want somebody to type it in. I shall live. My God, I shall live. Mando Shabbat. I believe the word of the Lord and I shall live. And my my God and not die I shall live I shall live in Jesus name and this is what I'm decreeing my God God bless you I'm telling you the grace of God's power the true manifestation of his grace tonight glory to God is being revealed my God God is breaking some of us away from traditions my God stuff that's been holding us the cycle of bondage that been uh, uh, taking us captive and God is breaking that thing from off of us my God and he is revealing my God the power of his spirit for our life hallelujah I'm telling somebody tonight don't let the gates of hell prevent the anointing my God and the word of God hallelujah from manifesting over you tonight in the name of Jesus, God bless you. Uh, Clovia, Lord God, thumbs. I, I tell you, the Spirit of the Almighty God is pouring out upon you right now. All you have to do is receive it. All you have to do is receive it, my God. Don't let the enemy, my God, hallelujah, destroy your hope any longer. You decree that word, I shall live. Why you shall live, hallelujah, because that's what the word of the Lord says, my fellow believers, hallelujah. If you believe in the Lord, you shall live, my God. If you believe his word over your life, you shall live. If you just walk in his word, you shall live. And I'm telling you, my God, every I'm, I'm commanding a, a crippling disease and sickness and, and, and pain. I'm commanding healing for somebody's body right now. I'm, I'm commanding tumors. I drive out every sickness out of someone's body tonight. I command it to be burnt out, to be gone in Jesus' name by the power of the Holy Ghost. Uh, Father, in the name of Jesus, heal by the power of the Holy Ghost tonight. In the name of Jesus, I heard the Lord said to tell somebody tonight, don't worry. My God, worry not yourself, sister Winsome. Glory to God. My God, hallelujah. My God, Ta Tasha, worry not yourself. God is trying to get you to another place, my God, of being obedient. My God. Tasha, glory to God. The Lord is saying that he's bringing you to a place, my God, where you're going to obey his voice to sow, my God, and to do the things that you're supposed to do, my God. God says you're going to obey him my God there are miracles that's going to be going to happen in your life my God in Jesus name hallelujah glory to God my God I feel the Holy Ghost right now Holy Ghost is moving right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Glory to God. I don't know, but there is somebody tonight. The Lord said to command debt cancellation. 
debt cancellation. My God, you're, you're in debt and you want God to cancel some debt. My God, I command debt cancellation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command it, my God, physically and I command it spiritually in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command debt cancellation from you right now. Every debt that you accumulate, God is going to move it in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you, Paul. I'm telling you, the favor of God's hand is working right now to heal your life. My God, Father, help us to see tonight. Help us to realize tonight, God. Help, help our eyes to open, our ears to open, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take us into another zone, into another zone of your spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit, God, that the earth will not open and swallow us, and swallow us, God, because we move out of your place. But my God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God, your people is watching tonight because they need a breakthrough. Give them a breakthrough, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Help them to hear the word of God, to understand the word of God, and to apply the word of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my God, by the power of the Holy Ghost, let them feel this anointing through this live video. Let them feel a touch of the power of the Holy Ghost, even as I speak, God. Even as the word is declared, God, let them feel it hit their body right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God, that for it's not my might, it's not my power, but it's by your spirit. Let your spirit meet them right where they're at tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As they are watching me, as they are hearing me, by the power the Holy Ghost, God, give them revelation tonight. Don't let one of them, God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I really need a touch. I really need to know you tonight. I get off this live video without experiencing the glory of your manifestation uh, through the spoken word, God, that you speak through me tonight. My God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I lose it, I lose it, I lose it, I lose it. Ha. Everything, everything the enemy has taken from you, Star Wilson, I, I want to encourage you because if you will begin to go into war, if you will, if you will get to a place, my God, where you start understanding God's word and what God want to do in your life, trust me, you will stop from being stuck. And you're allowing yourself to be stuck because you just won't let go. And God wants you to let go, Star. You hear what I'm telling you? God wants you to let go. God wants you to trust him. There is more to you, my God. There is some relationship. There is some stuff that you just been in that was so bad. And it's just bad. And it's not getting better because God wants you to obey him. God wants you to trust him. Uh -huh. Spirit of the Almighty God, I'm telling you that don't, don't, don't keep stopping your blessing, Star. I, I don't remember if you had came and visited our ministry before or not, but don't keep stopping your blessing. My God, the Lord wants to loose you. My God, would you be loose? Would you be set free by the power of the Holy Ghost tonight? Would you accept the calling and the assignment of God over your life? Hallelujah, my God. Star, did you come and visit us before? I don't remember. Glory to God. Where, you, where, you, where you're from, actually. Hallelujah, my God. But I just decree for you, man. Uh, God wants to break you out the mold. God, you need to come back. Come back. Come, come. I want to I wanna lay hands and pray for you this Thursday. This Thursday. Come here this Thursday. I'm telling you, because I'm telling you, every attack of the enemy is going to be just destroyed. But I see you. There, there's a calling on your life. There, Star, there's a calling on your life. In Jesus Christ's name. And God, God says, stop being stuck. Stop being stuck, Star. Stop being stuck. My God, and you know God is pulling on you. My God, your dreams are, is very troubling. God is just really talking to you. There are persons around you, Star, where, where situations are falling apart in your life, and you're trying to counsel them, and you're trying to speak into their life, and, and God is using it as a message to get your attention. Because God want to get you in the right place. God is calling out his soldiers, his end time soldiers, his end time warriors. And some of you don't even know that you have an assignment for the, for the end time now. Some of y'all have an end time assignment on your life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And the enemy just want you to just keep going in this cycle. My God, instead of stepping into the glory of God. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. I'm telling you, the Spirit of the Lord is truly moving tonight. My God, why? Because he wants to show, my God, divine favor, my God, in our life. My God. Hallelujah. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Listen here, my fellow believers. Glory to God. The enemy is attacking you. Yes, he's attacking you. But the Bible said, no weapon that formed against you, it will not prosper. It will not prosper against your life in Jesus' name. God is pulling down strongholds from around you right now. God is doing a new work in you right now. Believe it. Believe it. 
God is doing a new work in you right now. You don't have to see it. You have to just believe it. Grab a hold to it. My God, a uh, sister Winsome, glory to God. Hallelujah. God said, believe it. Just, he's doing a new work in you, woman of God. He's doing a new work in you. My God, hallelujah. And yes, you are going to travel. I saw you in the spirit. I don't know if you're getting ready, my God, to travel up this way or not. But 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 Winsome, you're getting ready to travel. But God said, even in your traveling, I'm going to move you into another dimension. There was a spiritual shifting, uh, a Winsome, that's, that's coming to your life. The Lord showed me in the spirit. Andoko Shabbat. I see the anointing of the Holy Ghost. My God, the power of, 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 of tongues. My God, the, the power of tongues coming upon you. Ah. When some, you're going to begin to see stuff. You're going to begin to get dreams and visions. God's going to open your eyes to things. God's going to just move you into another dimension. And that's one of the reasons why to win some, the Lord showed me that the enemy wants to attack you and attack your body, even with your breathing in your chest area. Like sometime, like it just, there's an attack that's going on right up in here. God says, I'm healing you from that right now in Jesus name. For the enemy has been trying to come against you, my God. But I rebuke every demonic war fear, my God have been coming against your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and I lose what God has for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm telling you the power of miracles is manifesting tonight. I need seven people to just grab a hold of this word that God has given me, my God, to share with you tonight. If you can just be radical for a moment, if you can just get radical in the spirit, if you can just get radical, my God, if you can just release my God your fate my God to the next level if you can just release your fate to the next level tonight I'm telling you in Jesus Christ's name everything you have prayed for God will show up my God and he will do it in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ glory to God no weapon that form against you it will not hurt you it will not form you it will not it will not it will, it will not glory to God it will not hurt you my God it, it, even if it, it form against you it will not prosper in Jesus name I'm decreeing for you tonight in Jesus Christ's name, hear the word of the Lord because the glory of his manifestation is here for you tonight. The glory of his breakthrough is here for you tonight. My God, the glory of his favor is here for you tonight. My God, in Jesus Christ's name, hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the little word of the Lord. Hallelujah! Lord, I feel the anointing. I feel the anointing. I feel the anointing. My God, Daphne, I pray for you. I pray over you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There is a greater anointing that's going to come over your life, Daphne. I saw you like, like you're in your room and I just saw like the Spirit of the Lord and like the Spirit of the Lord just coming over you, my God, and just resting on you in Jesus Christ's name. My God, for revelation and understanding of God is coming to you. My God, and I just decree the word of the Almighty God for you tonight in Jesus Christ's name. Ah. I feel the anointing. I feel the anointing. My God, I feel the anointing. My God. I saw in the spirit milk, 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 milk. It could be somebody named that goes by the name milk or somebody was drinking milk, 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 milk. Milk just came up before me again. But for that person, for that person, my God, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Begin to trust God, begin to trust God. My God, supernatural manifestation, my God, be over your life in Jesus' name. I just cripple and I bind up every attack of the devil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, my God. Hallelujah, my God. I heard the Lord says to Monique tonight, worry not thyself. My God, you have been in a place where you've been worrying and worrying and worrying, Monique. I heard the Lord say, worry not thyself. Be still. Be still and know that I am God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I feel the anointing of the Holy Spirit tonight. My God. I, you know, it's like the word of the Lord is in my mouth. It just tastes like honey in my mouth. My God, it's just so sweet right now because I tell you, that's what God's going to do for many of you, you're going to taste the word of God and you're going to just love the word of God. Amen. It's going to be just sweet. It's going to sweeten your mouth, sweeten your belly. My God, it's going to be really good. It's like that manna from above. The Bible said it was so sweet. It was so good that it came out their nostril. It came out their ears. My God, because that heavenly food was so good. And that's what God is giving you tonight. He's giving you a heavenly food that is so good, that, that is coming out your nose, coming out your ears. My God, he's just eating it all, you know, taking it all in because God wants to do it in your life and he is feeding you his word.
that you will live and that you will not die in Jesus Christ's name. My God, hallelujah, God is delivering you tonight from your brokenness. My God, hallelujah, there is somebody, God is delivering you tonight from witchcraft, witchcraft, witchcraft. My God, he says, my God, you know that somebody had worked some uh, a voodoo witchcraft against you. God is delivering you tonight from that witchcraft in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And the Lord is moving you to the next level, my God, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, God is demonstrating his authority and his grace over you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The gates of hell shall not prevail. I speak it and I'll declare it again. The gates of hell shall not prevail in the mighty, 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 mighty name of Jesus. My God, I loose the manifestation of God over you because Jesus is Lord. Ah, Edamandusha, yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, 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 Tasha, Tasha, I hope I'm saying your name right. Forgive me if I'm not. I, I, I don't know where you're located. My God, what city you're located in. Glory to God. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. Put your, put your city up there because God has shown me something here. But put your city there. My God, I wonder where you're located. Hallelujah. God, just have a, a sweet plan for you. Hallelujah. My God, and I just speak into your life because the enemy just been trying to stop your blessing. My God, and, and, and a favor for release uh, that God has for you. My God, Tasha, what city are you in? Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. My God. Hallelujah. I, I tell you, just, just the grace, just the grace, just the power of the Holy Ghost is moving tonight. The power of the Holy Ghost is moving tonight. In Jesus' name. My God. God is awesome. God is awesome. But I'm telling you right now, my fellow believers, ah, as we begin to trust God as we begin to believe the word of God over our life watch his mighty hands watch the power of his spirit begin to cancel debt I hear God says I'm canceling debt for it's like somebody been feeling having this fear of debt this fear of debt my God I cancel it from you tonight in Jesus name somebody that been feeling like you're going to lose your mind I cancel that attack right now from you in the name of Jesus Christ and I lose the word of God the gates of hell should not prevail the gates of hell should not prevail I pray that some of you that are local glory to God amen amen glory to God hallelujah Tasha. amen 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 but one day one day my God when the Lord releases that my God hallelujah that day my God in some prophetic meeting I see you are coming and you're connecting my God because something concerning a relationship my God that I see in the spirit concerning your life I don't know if you're in it now or something going on in that area my God that God hallelujah I, I almost challenged just to say something but but listen God want to set you free from some stuff and he really want to restore uh, back onto your life my God a, a spiritual place like never before and I just wanted to prophesy that to you Tasha because because of the breakthrough that God is trying to release for you in this moment in Jesus Christ's name my God I tell you I really feel the love of God tonight uh, the power of God the power of God my God hallelujah hallelujah I heard a name in the spirit could be uh, Sonny 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 Sony, 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 something like that, a funny name. I know somebody knows a person like that, but I pray for a person like that tonight. By the power of the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. By the power of the Holy Ghost, my God. The, the God is revealing. He's speaking. He's speaking. But I, I want to I encourage you. I, I want you to stay put. I want you to stay strong in the Lord tonight because I, I just don't want to come here and give you a word that and you're not getting it. You're not getting it. You have to, you have to get God. I, I was saying all that getting get get the Lord get the Lord understand his word understand his word um, um, allow God to just be in your life allow him to just move in your life allow him to lead you uh, allow him to direct you amen some of you your blessing are being held back because you're not in the right place you're not in the right place. You're, you're not positioned right. You're not in the right ministry. You're, you're not doing the right things. You're just not doing it. You got to pray the prayer. Father, help me to, to position myself for your blessing, for what you have for me in this season. And I believe that as you begin to position yourself, God will begin to do things for you. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. To, to be still is just to is just to meditate upon God's word. When, when we say to be still or be still in the Lord, it means that you're not worrying about a thing. You're putting your entire trust in God. You're meditating on his word. You're applying his word to your life daily. You're walking in his word. You're just doing what his word says. And you're just being obedient to that. That's being still. You understand? And then you're trusting him to make whatever way that you need to be made in your life as you not do it in your own strength, but you allow yourself to be in the word of God and in the Lord. And, and you're just being still by just allowing God to be God in your life. And as you do that, my God, the grace of his power and of his will will be over you mightily. Ah, I feel the anointing. I'm telling you, come out this Thursday night. We had a powerful time last Thursday. And I'm telling you, it's it, a, a growing move of God's manifestation is, is, is happening. And I'm telling my fellow believers, those of you that can come and join me, come and join me. I want God to really do something in your life. Hallelujah. My God, position me, Lord. Amen. That's it. Uh, please do tell the Lord, Lord, order my step. Position me for the blessing that you have for me. God is going to give you some stuff. Amen. Hey, Sister Mary, how you doing? God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. And, and, I, and I tell you, I tell you, my fellow believers, connect. Connect with the power of God's authority and God's word. He's not going to leave you. Amen. He's not going to leave. He's going to keep you. He's going to keep your body. He's going to keep your mind. He's going to keep your heart. He's going to keep your soul. Yes, order my steps. I tell you, that's why I be praying to the Lord, like, order my steps, Lord. Don't, don't let me miss it. Don't, I, don't, I can't get up every day just feeling miserably, miserable. Amen? And so, order my steps so I move from a place of, 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 of misery. Amen? Hallelujah. That's right. I show up, Lord. That's it. And, you know, that we just need God to just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Hey, don't be discouraged. You know, some of you really love God and so faithful to God. You know, Paula, don't be discouraged. I want to I say that to you. Tammy, don't be discouraged. You know, uh, uh, Tiffany, don't be discouraged. Amen. 7.30 p.m., yes, on, on this uh, uh, Thursday night. I, I, I literally kind of missed what she had just written. But anyway, listen, um, um, come out. Come out if you can. Join me on this Thursday night. I'm very powerful. I want to be in a two-day revival. Some of you might have seen a, seen a flyer um, in, in Winter Haven. Um, so be prepared for that. Amen. Please do be prepared for that. 27 and 28. Very powerful meeting out there. Amen. God is so awesome. My God is so awesome. God is doing, God is just really doing a great work. If you will just connect, if you just come out and if you just break yourself free from some stuff, I'm telling you, it, I feel deliverance. I'm telling you, this Thursday is going to be a night of deliverance. I'm telling you, last Thursday, oh my God, the blessings of God. But this Thursday is going to be an awesome night of deliverance. Uh, for those of you that's local, Come from a popka, wherever you're at. Come, come, come join me here because it's, it's going to be a, a great move of God. Amen. I, I want God to just really do something phenomenal for you. But, 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 uh, 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 Tasha, I know I'm speaking to your life because I don't know if you drive an SUV or not, but I'm telling you, I uh, see, I don't know if it's a son that I'm seeing or some male person I keep seeing in the spirit, but God really has, has, has so much for you. And that's why the Lord want you to trust him. Hallelujah. The devil, sometimes you even feel like, you know, you went, to a, went through a time where you feel like you're just going to lose your mind. But God wants you to trust him. I don't know why I'm ministering to you like this tonight, but the Holy Ghost is ministering to you like this. God really wants you to trust him, amen, and to be obedient to him. Because he's going he's gonna to work, really work some things out in your life in this season. You're going to trust him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is just really, really, really powerful. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you, allow the grace of God to just to just move. And I want to encourage those of you that's watching me. Um, would you would you go like in a in a reading fast? Like take one week and just start reading the Bible. You know, just start just start going through. You know, grab a chapter and just start reading that chapter and just start studying the Word of God. Just say I'm committing one week to reading and studying. Would you do a, a, a one week reading and studying uh, a challenge? Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, would you do that? Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And uh, I promise God is just going to push your life up. Amen. Your brother. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. I pray for him in Jesus name. Hallelujah. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God is really good, though. God is really good. And I'm glad that many of you have connected tonight. And you have connected from all over the place. Always a pleasure to come and share the word of God with you. Really, y'all are some real hungry people. And you love God. And that's why you, you stay here. And, you know, you take the word of God and you apply it to your life. And so many of you, you're going you're gonna to reap if you faint not. You're really going to reap if you faint not. Because I know God, God bless you, Vanessa. Um, if you faint not, you reap you're going to reap and you're going to receive what God has um, in store for you. So you, you, you walk in your miracles. I'm going to continue to pray for you, you know, and don't forget like any of you, um, if you ever like have a special request or something, don't be afraid to inbox me, you know, a prayer request. And um, I, I'll look at it and I'll just, I'll pray. I'll pray for you. Amen. Uh, that God will um, answer that, that, that prayer that you need in your life. Amen. 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 All right. All right. That's right. Yes. Go into that that study and challenge. Amen. And uh, and, and let God have His way in your life. Hallelujah. Uh, my God, Clover. Uh, God, just trust God. Trust God. Yes. Trust God. Trust God. Yes. He's 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 doing a new thing. He's really doing a new thing in your life. In the name of Jesus. The, the devil, I, I want you to know, like, for somebody that may feel like the enemy trying to ambush you, he's not going to ambush your life. No, the blood of Jesus Christ. God got your life covered. Don't worry. They, I know it looks like the enemy is trying to ambush you, trying to, you know, really mess you up, but it shall not prosper, says the Lord in Jesus' name. Says the Lord that I've put a, a stop to it. I don't know who's that word for, but the Lord says I've put a stop to it. Mandaboshaya in Jesus' name. My God, and I release the favor of God up and over your life uh, tonight in Jesus' name. God, I thank you. God, I thank you, Jesus. God, I thank you. Anyway, those are my few words tonight just to really encourage you. I don't forget, my God, if you can. Yolanda, bless you, bless you, bless you. Um, again, God leads you tonight, my God. To, to give a warfare seed. If somebody's going to sow a warfare seed of $500, my God, you unbox me. It's a prophet. I'm going to release this seed. My God, to, to combat warfare in my life, I'm going to sow the seed of $500. Inbox me. I thought I saw you in the spirit somewhere. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But if you'd like to be a blessing tonight, inbox me as well. All right. I'll call our ministry number. Go to desiredword.com. 321-328-0977. I always do this because the Lord says to do this. Amen. He had instruct me. And, and um, when I pray for people to just, to just, to, hallelujah, he's going to put it on their hearts to do stuff. So I don't want you to miss your blessing if you do want to be, if you do want to be a blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. And Bible says you don't receive because you don't ask. And so I don't want y'all to miss a blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. Through your, through touching the hands of the prophet with your gifts tonight. All right. So this is what I encourage you if you'd like to do that. Amen. Um, inbox me. Um, amen. Just let me know. Desiredword.com as well. In Jesus' name. Uh, text to give. 321. <laughs> Sister Tiffany, I love you, my dear sister. You just knew I, didn't, you knew I didn't have that number at all in my head. 321 <laughs> is that number. Text to, to give. Desiredword.com. Amen is the website to go to. Thank you so much, Sister Tiffany. Really appreciate that. That's the number if you like text to give. Hey, uh, Kimberly, how you doing? God bless you. God bless you. How are you doing tonight? Good to see you. Good to see you. Amen. Amen. So um, that's that's a way you can touch. That's a way you can you can uh, connect tonight. Amen. Amen. And just look forward for, for God's direction. Our ministry number 321 That's the ministry number right there. Amen. So you can, you know, kind of go back and you can also see, see um, how you can connect with the ministry tonight and how you can be a blessing. Some of you that don't have a church, I, you know, the Lord will put it on my heart, but some of you that don't have a church and you really really find this ministry to be an encouragement when I come and share the word of God with you. And you'll like to give your tithe in the ministry. Tithing is a principle. And you'll like to tithe to our ministry. You can always tithe to our ministry by going to desiredword.com. So prophet, I like to tithe, uh, you know, to our ministry until you find a church home or something like that. Amen. And um, just give that seed to the Lord at 10%. Amen. Do that. It's, it's an honorable thing before God. And God will bless, bless you. 
Hallelujah. Watch the blessings of God flow in your life from the practice tithing and giving. Amen. Hallelujah. Watch what he does. Watch what he does. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. But anyway, my fellow believers, uh, um, uh, thanks again for, for being here. And thank those of you that will be a blessing. Um, you know, but I, I know that there is a person that God's going to speak to you to sow a $500 worth for your seed. There's a person that's supposed to sow $50. Lord, that showed me, my God. And another person that God speak to you to sow $200 seed. Amen. And, and those of you that just want to be a blessing, just inbox me and, and uh, give the text to give. I think Tiffany had that number earlier. I got it. But, um, <laughs> amen. Thank you, Tiffany. It is good ground. Amen. Fertile ground to sow and to be a blessing here at Desired Word Ministry. So, so, so. Let God have his way. Amen. Hallelujah. Pray for Ben. Ben, bless you, man. You and the family. Tamika, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Love you all, man. Y'all really family. And um, all of you, you're just awesome people. Amen. Great, great, great people of God. Amen. Amen. You as well. You as well. Praise God for that. All right. So listen, um, inbox me, text me, however you want to do it. Amen. And if you have a special prayer request, again, don't be nervous to, to, to post your prayer request in my inbox so I can read it and, um, and pray for you. Amen. Come in agreement with you. Again, that number text to give us 321-684-7569. Amen. All right. I look forward to it. Please come on out on Thursday. I look forward to it. Praise God for you. Praise God for you. And um, I don't know if anybody, um, anybody have like a quick testimony uh, that you could type in, you know, um, that God did, um, you know, um, since you kind of been connected or you sold to God, did something special for you. And, you know, you can just type in a quick blessing. Good night as well. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. But I don't know if there's somebody has a quick testimony you could type in. That God that did something for you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. God is good. All right. All right. I don't see a quick testimony up there. But anyway, good night, my fellow believers. Inbox 